I'm on my commission today and I'm carrying on and this is part two of the pellet testing I've been doing with the Vira XW100S. Davey, my channel partner, asked me uh, to come out and try some longer range shooting with the three best brands which were the RWS Superfield, Air Arms Field and the JSB Exacts. I'm not going to bother with the FX pellets because they didn't work very well at 27 yards in the indoor range so they're not going to be very, very good uh, at range. And I'm going to set out my rifle on its bipod at 40 lays meters because I like working in metric, not in imperial. So it's around about 43, 44 yards. Uh, we'll be taking five shots uh, at a target and then we'll be inspecting the targets after each five shot group to see uh, how tight it falls. Now there is a slight breeze today, uh, but hopefully it's not going to interfere too much uh, and I'll be able to show, to show you just how good this rifle is even at range. Let's see how we get on. I'll stick the laser onto the camera and you can see we're at 40 meters so around about 43 44 yards first brand of pellets we're going to be testing are the RWS Superfields at 4.51 millimeter now there is a slight breeze at the moment blowing to the uh, right to left but I'll do as best I can my point of aim is going to be the blue map pin holding the card on to the top uh, of, the, of the card uh, knowing that the pellet will drop low around about one mil dot low uh, on times 10 magnification and I'm going to do five shots let's wait till this breeze stops a little bit I can feel it on the side of my face you can see it taking the pellet left it's two through the same hole though as long as it stays constant I'm happy that's three through the same hole four through the same hole Hopefully the breeze will stay where it is. There we go. It's five shots. I think it's made a group what would probably be covered by the size of a drawing pin. Uh, they've just about gone through the same hole. What you can see though, uh, if you look behind the mine tape, is bouncing. Uh, that is the actual breeze blowing it and that's why the pellet's been drifted off slightly to the left and uh, the grass is moving slightly as well uh, but over the 40 meters it's enough just to take off the pellet to one side right we'll put the target end now and this is the group I shot with the RWS Superfield at 4.51 millimeter and as you witnessed, I shot five shots through the Virac, uh, and I've just put an orange drawing pin in the centre of the group, and you can see that almost, and it is almost, all five shots are covered with the uh, one single drawing pin. There's maybe two mil uh, actually sticking out the bottom, uh, which is here for point with a pen. Uh, if I move the uh, drawing pin now, what you will notice is there's actually only three holes, it's because all five shots basically went through three holes worth and if I get a UK five pence piece and stick it on and then press hard onto the wood because it's wet the wood hopefully it'll leave an imprint like it has uh, and you can see that all five shots are absolutely buried by that five pence piece quite easily and this is why I use them because they are so accurate at long range uh, they're good at short range but even at long range they don't spread out much at all uh, and this is why I can extend my maximum range in perfect conditions off the bipod to uh, 55 meters shooting rabbits quite happily and humanely I've got an unshot five uh, pellet here I'm just gonna put it in the hole, center hole and that'll give you a little bit more reference how small this is so for anyone who has got a 177 Virac Give these RWS Superfields a try at 4.51mm. 
Right, let's go on to the next brand. We'll do Air Arms Fields. The next brand then, Air Arms Fields at 4.52 millimeters. I'll just show you I'm still at the range, 40 meters. And we'll zoom in. Same point of aim again, it'll be the top of the uh, white card where the blue drawing pin's holding it on. Uh, and then obviously the pellet's going to drop low. Round about one milled up, same as it is probably with the uh, RWS Superfield. Five shots in. See the breeze is still taking them off slightly to the uh, left. That's five shots. That's also uh, quite a good group for this range. We'll zoom out and we'll go and have a look. So here's the group then, shot by the Air Arms Field at 4.52 millimeter. Also quite a good group. Uh, I'll use the five pence piece as a reference. And you can see there, four of them are covered by the five pence piece. And if I hold it there, four there as well. So, still very good results for this range at 40 meters. And for four of the five shots to be covered by the five pence piece, I'm quite happy. Uh, and this is the reason why I did change from these pellets. Uh, to the super fields because they just give that little bit more accuracy at longer range uh, as you saw. So now we'll try the JSB exacts at 4.53 millimeters at range. I've never actually tried them at range as far as I can remember with uh, this rifle and we'll see how they do. Okay the last brand then, JSB exacts at 4.53 millimeters. Same again, I'll put the range finder on. And you can see, I'm not cheating, I'm still at 40 meters. Can't understand people who try and cheat the camera. Uh, and same point of aim, the drawing pin holding it onto the backstop. Last shot. That's also not too bad, really, uh, for this range. I don't think it's as good as the uh, Air Arms Fields, but we'll have a look when we get a bit closer. So I'll zoom out and we're going to have a look. Right, I'm up at the target end, and this is the final group. And this is JSB Exacts at 4.53 millimeters. Uh, I'll just use the five pence piece, and as you can see, it covers four uh, and then three shots there. So, still a good group covering four of the five shots at 40 meters, but not quite as tight as the Air Arms Field at 4.52 millimeter. Uh, and nowhere near as tight as the RWS Superfield at 4.51 millimeter. So what I can say, at range, which is probably what really counts most with these pellet tests, uh, the smaller diameter 
4.51 millimeter RWS Superfields uh, by far the best pellet and this is why I do use them uh, for hunting and like I said it, it lets me extend my maximum range what I'm going to do now is go back to the 40 meter point load up with some RWS Superfields uh, and I'm going to have a shot at uh, a little metal red spinner target uh, it is a tiny one as well probably I don't know maybe uh, 20 mil across uh, see how we get on, see if we can get 5 out of 5 Just put the uh, laser on it and laser the board there. Yeah. See, I'm at 40 meters. When I zoom in, you'll actually see the spinner. And it's the top one, the smallest one I'm going to go for. I've only got five pellets in the magazine. So I'm going to give it one mil dot of hold over on times 10 magnification for 40 meters and three quarters of a mil dot right hand side just to compensate for this breeze. So this is why I like HFT as well, because you get these little targets and not only have you got to estimate the range to the target, you've got to think about your trajectory and your holdover and plus the windage. You know, it takes a lot of skill and I've got a lot of respect for these people who can really shoot and get high scores in HFT. trying to judge the breeze. It's very intermittent. The grass is only moving slightly. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but over 40 meters, 43, 44 yards, it's enough just to take the pellet off to the left hand side. And if I was to aim smack on uh, the mill dot, I'd probably miss. To try and prove a point, or hopefully I'll prove a point, I'm going to put the mill dot smack in the middle of the target. See how close we get to hitting it. See, like so, into the uh, left hand side. So I'm going to go back to giving it three quarters of a mill dot right hand side. Magpies at 57 meters. Let's see if I can get him. This is a prone position. Oh, beautiful shot. Alright, that for a shot.